So many, many years ago, uh, locate manufacturers and GPS uh, equipment manufacturers always had that common thread of using outdoor utility technicians to locate and capture GPS data. The thought was 20 years ago to capture both at the same time. It was very cumbersome, took very long, whereas today we have this RTK Pro uh, that enables you to do exactly what people were believing could be done 10, 15 years ago. The RTK Pro a unit that we have been using today is leading in its class with regards to a multi-frequency uh, locating instrument that has a built-in survey grade GPS antenna, enabling the technician to locate accurate data points while locating at the same time in one easy step. You notice if I move the unit too quickly, and not correctly, the swing alert will come on, telling the technician that they don't need to move the device as quickly in order to get an accurate locate. Ah, here we go. So today, uh, we had some challenges with the locating. Um, the gas line was underneath a line of annual trees. So we weren't able to be over the top of the utility, uh, like traditional locating is, in order to find its location and depth of cover. Um, by using the vector mode, we were able to use this offset locating capability to show you the distance laterally um, to that utility from where you stood, and also the depth of cover as if you were on top of the utility in the traditional way. So I'm going to switch to the Vectra mode of the uh, VLOC3 RTK Pro in order to uh, initialize the offset locating ability of this unit. So you'll notice as I go to the side of the tree, it will show me that we're still one foot nine, one foot eight inches deep, and the utility is six foot six uh, laterally so I'll go ahead and capture that. And you notice my depth is still consistent and that the uh, current is still good and that we have a, we're about six feet away from the utility. Capture that again. GPS is accurate even though we're under tree cover. I'll continue to do some more readings. So in the Vectra mode, we've noticed that we have a target utility has gone blue, the circle's gone a little bit bigger, telling us that we have a little bit more distortion on the line. We're still about one foot uh, eight, one foot nine deep, and we're about four feet away. So I'll take a, another data point, capture that, and I will move towards the utility. And beyond the utility, move back towards the utility. And as you see, our cleanest signal is actually on top of the utility. And we were able to use that to our benefit also on the telecommunications line that was in the neighbor's yard um, and behind their fence. So in both instances, we were able to, to use the equipment in order to aid our locating job. So here we have a, a fence over here goes over our uh, utility so what we'll do we'll capture one point here and then we'll have to switch to vector mode in order to capture the data you see we still have the current the depth of cover and is telling us it is actually uh, inside the owner's property um, at, at about two foot four inches. So I will uh, take that data point. So continue along. A lot of distortion now, um, some interference that obviously we can't control. So I'll take that data point.
then it comes a super shallow cable. So at this point, I would be considering to reconnect at some point uh, at another position because of the heavy interference and distortion on the line.